Good morning, friends around the world. Let's begin our meditation. In a previous meditation, I talked about the act of criticism versus encouragement. And I shared with you a story about Trish encouraging me to wash her car. For those of you who missed that meditation, I'll give you a brief summary. One day we were sitting having coffee and Trish made the statement to me, Ed, you know, I love it when you wash my car. And I had to stop and think, have I ever washed her car? Well, guess what? What do you think that made me want to do? Yeah, made me want to wash her car. You know, Trish could have said to me, Ed, I don't feel very loved because you never wash my car. What would you rather hear? I love it when you wash my car? Or I don't feel very loved because you never wash my car. Encouragement versus criticism. Well, I'd like to take that idea, that concept a little bit deeper with a story told by an unknown. Well, here's the story. Recently, my wife and I sat charmed at an outdoor performance by Suzuki Violin students. After the concert, an instructor spoke briefly on how children as young as two, three, and four years old are taught to play the violin. The first thing children learn, he said, is a proper stance. And the second thing that children learn, even before they pick up a violin, is how to take a bow. He said, if the children just play the violin and stop, people may forget to show their appreciation. But when the children bow, the audience invariably applauds. And applause is the best motivator we've found to make children feel good about performing and want to do it well. You know, adults love applause too. Being affirmed makes us feel wonderful. Let's use the rest of the time that we have together this morning and ask ourselves these questions. If I were to be honest with myself, would I describe myself as a critical spirit or an appreciative spirit or something in between? When is the last time I expressed appreciation to someone close to me? Do I remember the look on their face and how it made them feel? How can I practice encouragement over criticism in my relationships today? And finally, what do I think God is trying to tell me in this meditation today?